Hello everyone. Welcome back to this video lecture. We are going to discuss a very interesting and beautiful love poem, romantic poem. The title of the poem is Itself Love. This poem is composed by a romantic poet S.T. Coleridge. The poem Love, this poem is actually extracted from the tale of the dark lady in which there is an introduction to Genevieve. And in this poem, the poet has created an imaginary beloved Genevieve. In 1800, Coleridge moved to the Lake District with Wordsworth. His marriage was increasingly unhappy and he had fallen disastrously in love with Wordsworth's future sister-in-law Sarah Hutchinson as recorded in Love and other Asra poems. His use of opium became a crippling addiction and in this poem the poet has described his unequited love affair with Genevieve. It is a creation of the poet's imagination, her emotional reactions to the story are very delicate and subtle. The poet succeeds in depicting them minutely and accurately. The poem illustrates many of the best qualities of Coleridge's poetry. The poet's description of natural landscape is outstanding. Some of the words and pictures found in the poem are very vivid and appealing. So be with me, we'll discuss and we'll analyze this poem, Love, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. S. T. Coleridge, that is Samuel Taylor Coleridge, lifespan is 1772-1834. S. T. Coleridge was a poet, critic and philosopher of Romanticism. He was the youngest son of Vicar of Ottery, St. Mary Devon. He was destined for the church. A temperamental dreamy child, he was sent after his father's early death to Christ Hospital School, London, where his precious classic reading and powers of inspired talk, which never left him, attracted a circle of young admirers including Leigh Hunt and future essayist Charles Lamb. At Jesus College, Cambridge, a brilliant career in classics was diverted by the French revolutionary politics, heavy drinking and unhappy love affair which led Cambridge to enlist in desperation in the 15th Light Dragons. Esti Coleridge died in 1834 and buried in church. The works of Coleridge are divided into three kinds, the poetic, the critical and the philosophical. They correspond to the early, the middle and the latter periods of his poetry. His notable poems are 
Kubla Khan, Cristobal, and the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. The poem Love, which is written in the form of ballad. So remember Love, the poem written by S.T. Coleridge, is in the form of ballad. What is ballad? A ballad is, in general, a short narrative poem dealing with simple, homely themes of perennial interest. Ballad is written in an artless, simple and direct manner. The themes of the older ballads were mainly connected with war, love, family or family ties and feuds of similar nature. The poem Love also describes a situation in a dramatic manner. The poem contains a story within a story. This poem Love, it has a story within a story. The two stories are there in this ballad. The poem Love contains 24 stanzas. Each stanza is comprised of four lines. The poet has used the rhyme scheme A, B, C, D. Figures of speech, poetic devices and symbols are used in this poem. And through this poem, poet depicts his love for a woman named Genevieve. This poem describes two love affairs, the love of miserable night for the lady of the land and the deep but unexpressed love of the poet for his beautiful and innocent Genevieve. There is, however, one of striking difference between the traditional ballad and this poem. The tone of traditional ballad is impersonal and detached. And there is a little of the composer's personality in it. But the poem Love is not so impersonal. It describes poet's own love for Genevieve. Though by the medium of the story of the knight's love, for Lady of the Land. It describes personal emotions of the poet and his personality is constantly felt in the poem. The theme of the poem is the glorification of love. Love, according to the poet, is supreme passion of human beings and all the other passions are subordinated to it. They moreover contribute something to the passion of love. They stimulate, inspire and sustain love and make its fire more steadily and brightly. This is the main theme of the poem which is described in the very first stanza. The poem opens and then proceeds to narrate the circumstances of time and place in which he sought to win the love of Genevieve. He does not express his love directly. The speaker describes the sorrowful story of a certain knight who was treated with a cruel scorn by the lady he loved. His disappointment in love turned him mad and he lost his senses. He lost all interest in life and wandered in the forest. There he once secured his lady love from the clutches of some wild ruffians 
who wanted to molest her chastity. The lady then realized the worth and the deep love of her lover and nursed him by day and night to save him. But all her efforts proved fruitless and she could not save that night. He died but not without recovering his senses in the end. When he regained sanity on his deathbed, he said something to that lady which the poet could not relate as it was the most pathetic part of the story. His heart overflowed with emotions, his voice flattered and his hand stopped on the harp. The poet was in reality mourning his own miserable condition in describing the sad and unfortunate condition of the night of the burning brand. Genevieve realized this. She felt pity for the night and also for her own lover who was not less disconsolate and miserable. The death of night in the story made her apprehensive. The feeling of pity for the night as well as her lover, the influence of the temptingly romantic scene, the quick alteration of her own hopes and fears, the gradual increasing of her love for the poet, all these had a very strong effect on her and she, not without some hesitation and shyness, ultimately yielded to his love and confessed her love in an open manner. The poet thus succeeds in exciting and winning the love of Genevieve. Love is a highly romantic poem. The time and place are romantic and therefore very suitable for describing the story of the love of that dejected and miserable knight. The poet was lying halfway up the mountain beside the ruined tower. The time was evening. The moon was climbing up the sky. And the moonlight was slowly and stealthily spreading over the sea. In such a beautiful and romantic place, the poet was enjoying the company of Genevieve, who leaned against the statue of an armed knight. The sorrowful tune and the old rustic song which the poet sang harmonized well with the surrounding atmosphere. In such a wild and romantic atmosphere, the poet indirectly expressed his own feelings of love for Genevieve by narrating the sad story of that miserable knight whose love was treated with scornful contempt by the lady he loved. Love has a perennial appeal because it describes the most intense passion of human heart. The human heart is full of feelings of love, pity, fear and sympathy. All these feelings are described in this poem. As the title suggests, the central passion described in the poem is that of love. Love has been glorified as supreme passion of mankind and all other passions are subordinated to it and contribute to making this supreme passion more firm and strong. All the persons described in the poem are in love. The lady who earlier rejected the knight in the story fell in love with him in the end. 
The knight was a passionate lover. The poet has a deep love for Genevieve and she also develops a deep love for him. In this connection, it should also be noticed that all of them are inspired with platonic or ideal love. This is a union of hearts and not of body. There is no suggestion of carnal passion in anybody. The poet knows that Genevieve is full of pity and sympathy for others' sorrow. He tries to win her love by singing to her the story of frustrated knight who was scornfully rejected by his lady. The sad story of night arouses the feeling of pity in Genevieve. The poem contains subtle psychological analysis of changing emotions of Genevieve at the sad and moving story of the night. She feels strong emotions at the miseries of the night. Her heart is thrilled by the feelings of hope and fear. She has worked up to so strong emotions that she cannot surpass her own feelings of love for the poet. Ballads are generally written in an artless, simple and direct language. There is the constant use of repetition or reference to enhance the effect of the story. They are written in simple stanzas and the story moves forward rapidly. The poem Love is also written in a simple and direct language. There are no adornments of diction in it, no use of fine phrases for their own sake. The poet concentrates on the story of night and on the changing emotions of Genevieve and describes them in a simple and direct language. Sometimes poet repeats a line or two to enhance the effect like she listened with a flitting blush etc. The poem is written in a very sweet and musical language. Coleridge was a master of harmony and music. These qualities are fully revealed in the poem Love also. It is a simple and direct expression of the feeling of love, the effect of which is greatly enhanced by the sweet music and the movement of the lines. I will be discussing this poem stanza wise i will read and i will discuss in short all thoughts all passions all delights whatever stays his mortal frame all are but ministers of love and feed his sacred flame according to poet every emotion is important and especially the emotion of love is the emotion which is greater than every emotion and this emotion delights and it influences love and that's why love is supposed as the driving force and that's why love is more important than other emotions of a man. Thoughts, passions and delights are the prime sources of love. And these feelings fill the human body. And the poet states that love is sacred emotion which must be fed continuously. Love does not change in the course of time. 
Love is a pure feeling which is the driving force of a man. Often in my waking dreams do I live over again that happy hour when midway on the mount I lay beside the ruined tower. In this stanza, S.T. Coleridge describes love as a daydream. The speaker looks back onto the time when that comes to his waking dreams. When a midway on the horse, he was on the horse and stationed that horse beside the ruined tower. So it is the speaker, he looks back and he was thinking about the daydream, happy dreams. And he was on his horse near the ruined tower. He recollects the sweet memories and he cherishes them. The moonshine stealing over the scene had blended with the lights of Eve, and she was there, my hope, my joy, my own dear Genevieve. The speaker talks about the time when he was speaking about life. It was the time of moonlight, moonshine. And at that time, that moonlight was mixing with the light of his beloved Genevieve. He says that there was a mixture of moonshine and the light of a Genevieve. So both these lights, the light of Genevieve and the moonshine, mix together and it creates a new atmosphere. Beauty of the moon is compared with the beauty of Genevieve and it is said that the light of moonlight and the light of Genevieve, they mix together and they appear, it appears as the hope and the joy of the speaker. She leaned against the armed man, the statue of the armed knight. She stood and listened to my lay amid the lingering light. When speaker was reciting to her a short poem, that Genevieve stands leaning the statue of armed knight. She stood there listening to the poem the speaker was reciting. Few sorrows had she of her own, my hope, joy, my Genevieve. She loves me best whenever I sing the song that make her grieve. The Genevieve, she has no feelings of love towards that night. But in this fifth stanza, the poet described Genevieve as his hope and joy. Genevieve has no sorrow of her own. She is free from sorrow, sadness or despair. The poet sings melodious song of her to give her pleasure, but after hearing the song, she becomes sad and restless. Because she does not have her own sorrow, but she can bring positive emotions to him, to the speaker. 
but the speaker's word allow her to experience sorrow she is not used to i played a soft and doleful air i sang an old and moving story an old rude song that suited well that ruin wild and hoary the song is meant to sadden and excite genevieve the sadness excite genevieve the feeling of love and that's why he played a soft and doleful air he played that story through that music it has a mournful air and he sang the speaker sang this moving story of the night an old rude song it was a old song that suited well that ruin old and hoary this song can be suitable to the old and hoary according to the speaker she listened with a flitting blush with downcast eyes and modest grace for well she knew i could not choose but gaze upon her face the speaker tells how she reacted to his story she blushed and lowered her eyes at that time speaker does not seem to be able to stop gazing at her he was continuously gazing when she had a blush and she was looking at the speaker with lowered eyes the genevieve was reacted to the story of the speaker i told her of the night that or upon his shield a burning brand and that for 10 long years he wooed the lady of the land the speaker opens another story the story in the story and the story of a sorrow he states that there was a knight who carried a shield on which there was a burning brand and he tells that the knight was in love with the lady of the land and he wooed he loved that lady for 10 years but the lady of the land didn't accept the love of the knight i told her how he pined and oh the deep and low and pleading tone with which i sang another slow interpreted my own the speaker told how that night pined how he was suffering because the lady of the land didn't accept the love and that's why he had lost his senses he was deep in love the low and pleading tone which i sang another slow so the speaker was telling the story of another's sorrow but the passion was speaker's own though he was telling the story of another but the feeling and the passion was his own she listened with flitting blush with downcast eyes and modest grace and she forgave me 
that I gazed too fondly on her face. The grace is on display and it proves that speaker stares at her. The speaker stares, he looks at the face of Genevieve and he was continuously looking at Genevieve but she doesn't object, she doesn't mind when he looks at him, when he looks at the speaker. But when I told the cruel scorn that crazed that bold and lovely knight and that he crossed the mountain woods nor rested day or night nor rested day nor night. The speaker says that I told the cruelty of the lady, lady of the land to Genevieve that when she rejects the love of night, that night traveled through the woods desperate for an answer. She became mad and he was going through the mountains, through jungles. He rested not for day and not for night. He was desperate and he was traveling through the woods and he was traveling through the mountains. But sometimes from savage den and sometimes from dark some shed and sometimes straight up once in green and sunny glade. Now because of the rejection of love, the knight was in plight. The extent of his sorrow on being rejected which makes him roam dangerously close to savage animals, dark places and from sometimes grassy open area. The image of that lady was haunting tonight. He was haunted by the image of that lady. There came and looked him in the face an angel beautiful and bright and that he knew it was a faint this miserable night. The face of woman came to him, came to that night and made him miserable. He seeks to win her but it seems that the image of that lady is like an evil spirit. As the knight was haunted by the thoughts of lady of the land whom he still loves and then he sees a beautiful angel but to his horror realizes that it is not an angel but a fiend, an evil spirit, perhaps devil. And that unknowing what he did, he leaped amid a murderous band and saved from outrage worse than death the lady of the land. When the knight was roaming, he saves a life of a woman. The woman he saved was none other than the lady of land whom he loves. And that incident led him back to the woman he loves. The knight saved the lady of the land. Some people trying to molest her and in that scene, in this stanza, it is said that she had been saved 
by the night and he didn't know who was that woman but ultimately that woman found was the lady of the land whom he loves and how she wept and clasped his knees and how she tended him in vain and ever strove to expiate the scorn that crazed his brain the lady thanks what he did for her she holds his knees she begs for mercy for her previous scornful attitude she cries and thanks him for saving her he remembers her earlier rejection and she has now accept his changed attitude she is one now who has to accept punishment of his negative and changed feeling for her and tries to rid him of them her goal is to change his mind and bring back to the state he was in before and that she nursed him in a cave and how his madness went away when on yellow forest leaves a dying man he lay the night was injured when he saved the lady of the land from the criminals and she took night into a cave the lady spends time in nursing him and his ill opinion about that lady went away but night was ill and he was on his deathbed the narrator was telling a sad story to genevieve and genevieve was listening to the story in the story is dying words but when i reached that tenderest strain of all the ditty my flattering voice and pausing heart disturbed her soul with pity all impulses of soul and sense had thrilled my guileless genevieve the music and the doleful tell the rich and blamey eve genevieve was deeply moved it is also fault of the evening which is rich this event brings sorrow out of her Genevieve is deeply affected by the poem and the sorrow told in that poem and hopes and fears that kindle hope an undistinguishable throng and gentle wishes long subdued subdued and cherished long Genevieve feels that she imagines in that situation of lady of the land she herself imagines that the situation of lady of land may be the situation of genevieve which is the reaction of the poet was hoping for she is now more amenable to his affections she wept with pity and delight she blushed with love and virgin shame and like the murmur of a dream i heard her breathe my name the tide turns the speaker when she breathes 
his name when she takes the name of the speaker. Genevieve weeps with pity and happiness. She is shy and embraced to reveal her emotions. But poet finally has the happiness of hearing her call his name. Her bosom heaved. She stepped aside. As conscious of my look, she stepped. Then suddenly, with timorous eye, she fled to me and wept. She doesn't dare to meet his eyes. She runs to the speaker and she enfolds in his arms. Genevieve hugs the speaker from back. Genevieve gave the response as the speaker had been hoping for. She half enclosed me with her arms. She pressed me with a meek embrace and bending back her head looked up and gazed upon my face. In a dramatic scene, Genevieve puts her arms around him, draws him to her and looks into his face. It was partly love and partly fear and partly it was a bashful art that I might rather feel than see the swelling of her hurt. The speaker must calm her. The speaker chooses to feel her. The speaker wants to feel the love rather than to see it. I calmed her fears and she was calm and I told her love with virgin pride and so I won my Genevieve, my bright and beauteous bride. The speaker calms her and tells her about his own love. He was able to win. He was able to win the love of Genevieve and takes her as his bride. This is the happy ending of this story, love story, because this is a ballad. And in this ballad, there is a story in the story. We have seen how the speaker or the poet was in love with Genevieve. Genevieve might be Sarah Hutchinson. And how the speaker tells the story to Genevieve. And in that story, he tells the story of a knight and the lady of a land. The knight loves the lady of the land, but lady doesn't love. And he was in despair. He was dejected because of the rejection of the love. And he was wandering from the jungle. Once he saved a woman. Some people were molesting that lady. When he saved, when he fought with the criminal and he saw that lady he saved was none other than the lady of land to whom he loves. But in that fight, he was injured, fatally injured. And lady was very sorry for that. She realized the love of that knight. And she took that knight into the cave. And she served him. But unfortunately, she could not save that man, knight. And she lost the knight. This story is told by the speaker to Genevieve and Genevieve felt very sorry and he was very sad to hear the story because the speaker wants the effect of the sorrow and he wants to imagine the Genevieve at the place of the lady of the land and he was successful in this effect. By listening this story, 
of the night and the lady of the land. The Genevieve feels the love for the speaker and she runs in the arms of the speaker and she accepts the love. Genevieve accepts the love to the speaker and this is the happy ending of the ballad. Especially ballad is nothing but it is a story in a song, in a rhyme, in a poetic lines. But the speciality of this poem is that there is a story in story. Esti Coleridge has very beautifully, romantically described all scenes in the story. So I hope you may have understood this video lecture, this poem, Love. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day and enjoy the videos. Read the original text. Try to understand the text and you can comment in the comment box. You can share and subscribe this video and do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel to get more educational videos.